I'll be going through with you is Symantec Corporation stock. Uh, just type it in Google and you can find this information, click enter and then you can see the name of the stock. You can see um, the symbol, you can see I can buy it for 20.41 US dollar for one stock and um, it's a billion size form, it's a big size form and it's paying a dividend. Any form that is paying dividend that means they're financially very strong because after paying their creditors, loans, liabilities, they still have extra money left. That extra money it will pay to shareholders as dividend. So even if the dividend is very low, it's 1.47% or even if it's less than 0.1%, you know, no matter what the yield is, that's a positive sign because it means the firm is financially strong. So let's go to Wikipedia and I want to see when was this founded. I can see 1982, 37 years ago. Now let's have a look that um, what the employees think about this form. Let's have a look in Indeed reviews and see what the employees think about this form. So I can see we have 1100 reviews and it's 3.9 star. Please read through the reviews yourself. Check out the salaries, the photos, the jobs listed and the questions asked. Now I want to know Glassdoor reviews as well. So let's have a look. So I can see 4,000 reviews, 3.4 star, jobs listed, salaries they're paying, interview questions, benefits they're giving, photos, and read through the reviews yourself. Check out just your patents and see what patents they have. So we'll see, we'll click enter, and I can see that please concentrate on applicant or assignee because these are people who have full rights of the patent. And I can see a lot of patents in 2013, uh, 12, Read and go through the list yourself. It has a lot of patents. That's a positive sign. The more patents a firm has, the more stronger it is, the more harder it is to beat that firm because it's continuously innovating. Patents mean that the firm is continuously innovating. That's a brilliant sign that it's a strong firm. And look for recent uh, patents in 2015, 16, 17, 18 because that means they're still innovating. And we go through the list yourself. It's a big list. And um, that's brilliant. And let's go to Yahoo Finance and see what the key executives are getting as salaries. So I want to look at that. Okay. And click the symbol from NASDAQ as well and go to profile. Sorry. Go to profile. And you can see the sector, industry, and employees. And I can see four salaries have been shown of key executives. One, it says not applicable. Please search why it's not applicable because we need to know all the salaries of the key executives because it means there's more transparency. So let's go to macro trend and let's go to price ratio, price book ratio and type in the um, thing. And uh, if it's less than one price book ratio, that means stock is cheap. It's a discount. It's a sale. If it's more than one, that means that the stock is expensive. The higher the number goes, the more expensive it will get. So let's have a look after it loads. Right now, I can see that it's um, 2.24, which means stock is 2.24 times more expensive to buy right now. <clears throat> Anybody who buys right now, they'll be paying 2.24 times more money. Uh, I can see in 2017, September, it's 5.64, which means stock is 5.64 times more expensive. Somebody who bought that time in 2017, September, they paid $32 to buy something that was $5 worth. Right now, it's 2.24 times more expensive. I can see in 2006, March, it's 0.92, which means stock is 8% discount. It was 8% discount in 2006. So people paid $12 to buy something that was $13 worth. Right now, it's 2.24 times more expensive. Let's go to other ratios and check out current ratio. If current ratio is less than 1, that means stock is very risky because liabilities are more than assets. If current ratio is 1.5 or more than that, that means stock is very safe. It has a good margin of safety. I can see right now it's less than one. That means liabilities are more than assets. You can see vertically up. It's a dangerous stock. Let's look at the previous trend. Has it ever been 1.5 or more than that? I can see 
that since 2006 up till 2015 September it's always been below 1.5 so it's a risky stock but just for one year in 2016 it's more than 1.5 but one year it's safe stock if it's more than 1.5 but one year is not consistent so we are looking for consistency and then again it's recently below 1.5 so I would say it's a risky stock overall let's go to debt equity ratio this ratio will tell me if the company is mainly trading on debt or equity, I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be brilliant. Let's have a look. Right now, I can see that it's more than 0.5. It's a dangerous stock. Um, let's look at the previous trend. It's more than 0.5. Yes. So I can see that since 2006 up till I would say 2015 December, it's a safe stock because it has always been below 0.5. But just recently in 2016 March up till now, it's a very risky stock because it's, it has always been below uh, above 0.5. Let's go to return on equity. I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be brilliant. Right now, it's uh, less than 8%. It's a risky stock. Like, if, I mean, not a risky stock, obviously, but it's less than 8%, so very less return. So it's not the one I'm looking for. Let's look at the previous trend. So it's a minus return, and then it's, it's a positive. So it's fluctuating. Then it's a minus again. Then it's a positive one. And then, so I can see that since 2009, December, up till 2015, December, it's a positive, consistent equity of 8% or more than that. That's brilliant. And uh, then until 2016 December but then in 2017 March it's a minus return then it's a positive then it's a minus you know so um, recently it's not a good return consistency 